Hi, I'm Lindsay Wagner. You know, when we're growing up, our parents teach us about many different kinds of safety. There's playground safety, bicycle safety, fire safety, and even how to cross a street safely. But there's one kind of safety that we don't often talk about, and that's personal body safety. This is Cordelia Anderson, the director of the Sexual Abuse Prevention Program at Illusion Theater. Who's heard of sexual abuse? Where did you hear about it? My parents. They flex for my teachers. On TV, a lady was raped from some of my close friends. Sometimes I think it's easier to talk about physical abuse than it is about sexual abuse. You're right. It's not easy to talk about, but it is important that we do, because it's very serious when someone forces or tricks you into touch or any other behavior that you don't want to do. You know, it isn't just hard for kids to talk about sexual abuse, it's hard for adults, too. We need to know what sexual abuse is and to ask questions when we are confused. Touch. 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 Squeeze hands. Touch. How about snuggle? How many of you wrestle? Is it fun? Yeah. yeah. Depends. Do you remember your first kiss? What do first kisses feel like? Wet. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Embarrassing. Delicious. <laughs> Slobbery. What's the difference between the first grandfather story and the second one? The first touch was not a very nice touch, but the second one was a nice, friendly one. One was a secret to, um, to, to the two people, and the other wasn't. Remember, you have the right to decide what kind of touch you don't like and what kind of touch feels good. Because there's nothing in the world like a touch that feels good. <laughs>